The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author, Mian Mosin Zia. If you if you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SoundWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war wing author Mian Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mian Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mian Molson Zia is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by me, Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved by endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Me and Mosin Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be here on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And also support the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com. Also support us on Anchor FM as well as PayPal. And for great gift ideas, including... You know, T-shirts like these, long sleeve, pop sockets, and more. Go to Amazon.com slash The Mike Widener Show. And for more great gift ideas, including T-shirts, hoodies, pop sockets, and also great books by me and Molson Zia, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia. You can also check out Missing Once and Other Books and order today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is a singer. He's also... 
fresh off his nomination for Best EDM Entertainer at the Chicago Music Awards, where he's not only a nominee, but a feature pres- presenter for the Best African Entertainer Award. And um, this this guy is a killer, literally. We'll uh, talk more about that. And, um, and, of course, he's also got some music like So Below, and he's got the latest where it's it's not the app, but, of course, this guy just doesn't stop, and he does it with a beat. And, of course, you know, He's had over 300,000, 500,000, 750,000, a million streams on just a lot of his music and him overall. And of course, he's got a great story to uh, tell as well, too. And, um, you know, just an amazing inspiration and live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Chicago in the Windy City, the very, very multi-talented EDM entertainer, also singer, songwriter, rapper, and just a great presenter, Dante's. (laughs) Alexander Dantes. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Wow. Well, thank you so much for putting so much respect on my name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, really, really happy to be here and uh, to be sitting here with you and to just be talking to you know all of the the great listeners. I, I hope that uh, we have a good time. I'm excited. Well, I'll tell you, I can tell we're not just having a good time. We're having a great time, you know, just talking about um, Chicago pizza, the Windy City and um, all kinds as well. To you came fresh off a nomination for Best EDM Entertainment at the Chicago Music Awards. Not only you were a nominee, but also featured presenter for the Best African Entertainment Award in which um, you have a hit song, which had just broken over 300,000 um you know, streams, and also you got a couple of songs coming up as well, too. And um, you also... Um, you have a fusion of R&B, pop and house music, and uh, of course, um, you, you're also a HIV positive, non-binary pop dance singer, and you appeared on Showtime's Work in Progress and She, which is over 114,000 um, monthly listeners. I mean, I mean, over 100,000. I mean, it just comes like magic as well to me. You just have an amazing sparkle of energy, and of course, most of your music got inspired and wishes to elevate the lgbtq community platform and um just very courageous and we're here to talk about it and you know just love to hear your story before we get to all that tell us how you got started um well i i how i got started i I guess i got started like everybody else got started mike um Mm -hmm. you have to have some life happen you know in in order to start somewhere you know Mm -hmm. um i think when we're you know like fresh out of college, you know, uh, even before that, like high school, right. You, you think you, everything's just going to be go the way that it's planned, you know, that you plan and you know, you're going to be a singer and you're going to do this and there's nothing that's going to stop you. Well, (laughs) there, you know, there was a lot of life that, you know, a lot of life that had to be lived, you know, in order for me to, you know, even get here. Um, you know, like most, you know, you know, most kids, um, you know, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a man now. And my birthday was just uh, ooh, two days ago now. Well, happy so, birthday to you. Thank you. I just turned 28. So I'm here, really. There you ready. go. We celebrate and salute. <laughs> you know what? If I had some tea, I'd definitely give you a, a nice uh, mug back there because it, it was definitely a really good birthday, um, especially when, you know, I began to understand, you know, where I came from. And, you know, I went through, you know, broken home situations and I grew up, you um, you know, as a ward of the state, um, you know, so I had a really rough upbringing, but also, you know, during that, that, that time, I also had a really great upbringing. Um, you know, I was exposed to a lot of different uh, variants of life and cultures and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's me glossing over my, uh, how, <laughs> you know, my uh, childhood and uh, I guess where I came from. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And of course, you have brought up earlier as well, too. You uh, had a plan, but things don't go as planned. I'm pretty much guilty of myself, just like many of us as well, too. And, um, you know, some of the plans you had and um, how do you manage to get through the uh, obstacles? I think in order to get through all of the obstacles that, you know, life throws at us, you really have to have a strong foundation. And I think that's why so many, you know, so many trees fall over is because their roots aren't really planted deeply in the ground. Mm -hmm. Um, I I draw a lot of inspiration. I sound like such a freak, probably a weirdo and a hippie, but I draw so much inspiration from nature and uh, the bounty, um, you know, that God has. Um, And I think that really is the problem for a lot of people is that they don't, you know, have. Um, you know, the support system that's necessary to make a transition to even do something that you want to love. Um, you know, so it's always about finding, 
um, you know, finding those who are similar to you and, you know, reaching out, you know, and doing that. And I'm just thankful that, you know, I have this platform to even, um, you know, share my story with the world and hopefully be a, an encouragement and, you know, encouragement. Oh, wait a minute. I, I said that wrong. Encouraging factor in someone's life. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it sounds like you also, you know, told me part of the amazing stories as well, too. And, um, you know, maybe some stories of fact that, um, you, you know, with your background as well, too. And um, also, how do you manage to overcome and, um, and, and how do you inspire as well, too, that, um, you know, you're being courageous, outspoken and uh, fluorescent. And of course, you know, you know, there's like um, a dark aura, but you just make it light with um, you know, epiphany. Of course, we're in a, you know, hard times right now. And, um, you know just some stories, maybe just to inspire. It's like, you know, like, like say, for example, you got bullied or something, or because, um, you know, where you live is like you're only a person, you know, let's say, um, you know, somewhere in Chicago, like say, um, I'm trying to think of a suburb, like say Schaumburg or something. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I, I, I was really, you know, growing up, I was always the, the outcast. I, I, you know, I was, uh, very Gothic and like into, um, you know, dyeing my hair and changing my hair. And I guess like most, most teenagers usually are. Um, but it was, it was a bit different for me because I was, you know, black and darker than everybody else. So, you know, when you do stuff like that, it's like, Oh my God, he's like, oh. man, what is he doing? Oh, oh. Ah. Oh, oh, exactly. It's almost like double standard. You know, so it's like, say somebody, um, dyes their hair, dyes their hair yellow it's like yeah cool but then i dye my hair you dye your hair yellow They're like what are you doing you know that right. sort of thing it's just like you know you know especially in anything clothes cars how's them like you know some people are like oh that's a great car you get the same car yep where'd you get that car what are you thinking you know it, it's a type of double standard it's nowadays it's like you're faced with all these situations now it's just like you know how, how do you manage to overcome double standards try to um say you know if it's okay for you hawk if it's, if it's okay for you, how come it's now okay for me? It seems like that's rarely ever addressed in today's society. I mean, I, I don't know why it's like that. I mean, I don't know why it's like that. I, for me, I, you know, since I make music, I, I get a lot of inspiration from, you know, from the music. I mean, music is really like the soundtrack to, you know, our lives. And when, you know, musicians write, and this, these are all things that I've, you know, just started to discover, you know, as I, you know, wrote my, my, my songs that are out now. And, you know, as I continue to write things that are unreleased, um, that people tend to write from a honest perspective. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a writer, you usually try and write from, you know, an honest, honest, unbiased, you know, uh, perspective, right? Because only you can walk in your shoes. Right. But with that, you know, there is somebody out there who has a similar, you know, pair that you do, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of, a lot of people don't, uh, you know, think about that. Um, that was actually kind of cool how I worded that. Right. Um. <laughs> it, it did that really well. That's why you're, you're a songwriter. That's why, or just a writer period. So that's why, <laughs> um, you know, it, it, um, you know, I like to think of like Tracy Chapman, you know, like I love a lot of older music. I'm a very retro of retro guy um and that's and i guess that's that's because like I, I grew up not having like a lot of those things um you know that like now like i'm that i'm you know an adult and, you know that i finally have some some money i can go and buy a nintendo and you know buy you know all of the power ranger toys that i wanted you know as a kid that you know my parents and you know all of that stuff couldn't afford and you know and that the group homes couldn't afford and stuff like that so yeah Mm -hmm. And also, too, you talked about music as well, too. You talked about Tracy Chapman and some of the other, um, you know, retro artists as well, too. And uh, who are some of your other favorite artists, musicians, and singers growing up besides the ones you mentioned? Oh, wow. Oh, where do I start? I mean, well, I have my, my, my holy divinity, and my holy divinity are my five. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I love, uh, well, here, hold on. I'm, I'm just going to. I'm going to pull something off from the side here. Hold on one second. Okay. So I absolutely love. Michael Jackson. Yes. 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 I absolutely, Amazing. absolutely love Michael Jackson. One second. I'm, I'm, I'm moving and adjusting here. Okay. And then <laughs> I also love. 
That is... Janet Jackson. Janet. Okay. All right. Yeah, you had a little bit of a reflection there. I couldn't see the name, but uh, I, I could tell that uh, you're in the under a Batman logo, and we love Batman. I got to say this. I'm Batman. <laughs> yes. So you know where we're going with that. We love Prince as mm -hmm. well. Um, and, you know, and that's what's so cool about what it is that I do is, you know, like I inter inter uh, interact with a lot of my fans through social media like Facebook. Well, not so much Facebook, um, but like Instagram. And you'd be surprised at how original people think things are. But, you you know, for me, you know, being in this position is very important for me to, you know, uh, bring, um, you know, light to, you know, those who have, um, you know, come before us. So, like I said, I like Michael Jackson. Um, you know, I absolutely love, you know, Janet Jackson, uh, LaBouche, I love LaBouche, um, you know, Taylor Dane, uh, Madonna, uh, you know, I'm going on and on and on, like Little Richard and, you know, you know, I, and I absolutely love, love Little Richard because, um, you know, I, I, I think had he, you know, been here in my age during this time, I think, um, I think he would have been a, a fucking superstar. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's no question, too, that he actually pretty much uh, revolutionized um, a lot of the R&B back in the day, too. And, of course, you know, Chubby oh, Checker revolutionized. And then you also had, um, it, like, say, with, um, I'm trying to think, Bo Diddley. And then you had, um, what was it? Um, God, I'm trying to think. Um, let's see. I'm just oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the yellow one. James Brown and um, oh, he's a guy. He's another another uh, <clears throat> another favorite of mine. I, you know what 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 was great about him though was he was he was just a fabulous band leader. Mm -hmm. You know, not very many musicians know how to actually read music. Mm, yes, yes, and and of course that's been the big thing as well too. It's like you know you know they rely on machines, rely on computers, and all that. And um, the old days, it was just basically taught with sheet music, and you had like so many beats, so many rhythms, and um, yeah, so many yeah, times yeah. you know um you know one half, two 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 fourths, or like five fourths or three fourths, and um and, and all that. So it's like you know that seems like that art's gone, but nowadays like everybody just does on a computer. Yeah, I mean you know what I. I am very much about um, trying to go to the studio as much as possible. I may, you know, the song idea, you know, may actually start, you know, on my computer. Um, but I know that it must go through the machine. And you know what I mean by the machine. Um, oh, yeah. The machine. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the machine get out, you know. auto-tune, get out. <laughs> you know, it has to go through the machine to get ready to go to war. So, you know, the studio is uh, very important. But, you know, as, as time kind of progresses, I think what will end up happening is we're starting to see like a shift of, you know, some of the consoles are actually now being all touch. You know, like mm -hmm. I saw just a few days ago. And now that's something else that I have to learn because I'm so used to using the... <laughs> you know, traditional. Yeah. 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 The monster. What was it like um, a 64 channel board or something? Or it's like it's a, yep, uh, exactly. it's 64 channel. Yep. Uh, yep. 128. It's like, I was used to seeing those. And I vision myself there. Now it's just like, it's just, you know, compact down to like, you know, this size and everything. So it's like, you know, you pretty much eliminate most of the channels, but the essential ones are just a, about the size of a shoebox. Yep. 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 Yeah. I totally agree. I totally agree. You know, your music. <laughs> Hey, I'm right with you, brother. I'm right with you. <laughs> and, and Dante's, what was that one precise moment that influenced you into what you're doing today? So, y'all you know, think back, um, you, you know, the times you went through and the times you say got on stage or whatever it is. It's like, what was that one precise moment in your life that simply said to you, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my career? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I always have memories back to, um, growing up as a kid you know in uh, a group home and uh and when i say group home like most people think of like one single home and and but this particular situation was more or less like a college campus with like 25 different houses with an upstairs you know with 24 kids you know 12 upstairs 12 downstairs so it was really structured like a, a little people's college campus you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. um so you know i all of my memories from you know that time like when it all clicked into place for me you know we would you know, every year, you know, the group home that I lived in and only the group home that I lived in, you know, performed in front of the whole entire, um, you know, campus. 
Um, you know, we would do you know, Black History celebrations, um, pretty much any little, you know, you, you know, little juvenile look at me thing. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I mean, and, but they worked us really hard. You know, they they worked us really really hard. I mean, um, and they worked us, you know so hard and so good that it became like an annual tradition mm. um you know and then um you know we started getting you know so so good at it you know that we you know we we were just known as like the you know we were the talented house <laughs> the talent house i like that i think they'd be a good name for an agency the talent house i like that actually a good idea the talent house that's great right <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's pretty good oh my goodness and of course you know with all that talent it took it to showtime and also um got you uh some best uh awards as well too we'll talk about it in one minute but first listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonic web studios.com for all your needs look at a professional website without breaking your budget sonic web studios is the answer sonic web studios offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away call today 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time for official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mian Mosenzia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mian Mosenzia, available on Amazon paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback in ebook. Missing by me and Mosin Z has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Ghosts Missing by me and Mosin Z, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor <laughs> FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Panda, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalayan, more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for some great gift ideas and some great T-shirts like these here, go to Amazon.com slash the Mike Widener Show. And for more great gift ideas, including T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, tote bags, and all kinds of goodies, and books by me and Mosinzia like Once, Missing, and More. Go to Amazon.com slash me and Mosinzia and order today. We're here with the terrific um, singer, songwriter, very multi-talented Dante's Alexander here on the Mike Wagner Show. Waves hi to his fans and, um, you know, talk about uh, his um, his very uh, interesting background as well, too. And also with with the talent that he also had built up, you know, living in a group home, he was a Fresh off his nomination for Best EDM Entertainer at the Chicago Music Awards. Not only a nominee, but also a featured presenter for the Best African Entertainer Award. And also featured on Showtime's Work in Progress and Chi. And of course, uh, his song Killer has gotten over 300,000 streams. And um, he also got Soul Below and TikTok Beat Don't Stop. And many of his works have gotten at least over 100,000. And some have gotten 500,000, 750,000 and looking up to a million as well, too. And um, tell us about some of the words that you have gotten lately as well, too. So it's so amazing. Um, well, you know what? I haven't won anything yet, but being nominated sure does feel like you won something, even if you don't win. So I'll say that. <laughs> well, um, I'll, I'll, well, I'll say you won. You won my heart. That's for sure. You 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 won in my heart. So. Well, thank you. Thank you. I won in my heart, too. So it's okay. Um, mm-hmm. You know, but no, seriously, um when I found that out, like it was a a really good, uh, it was a really good thing to actually wake up to. Um, it's, I think it's one thing when you, you know, go out of your way to, um, you know, say, Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna solicit that nomination or, um, you know, or, or, you know, or what have you, but, you know, for you to get nominated by, you know, your peers and people who, you know, are in the industry here, you know, in the, in the Chicago business is a really good thing. Um, it's a really amazing thing. It still is. Uh, I, I just, I'm just grateful. And uh, I look forward to being nominated for many, 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 many you know, more awards. Uh, you know, we'll see. 
Um, you know, So Below is, you know, an amazing song. It's still doing, you know, extremely fantastic. I want to say, um, who knows where that is right now. I just know that it's it's over the moon. Uh, TikTok is, is doing phenomenal. Um, TikTok be Don't Stop. Um, I mean, that's doing great still. Um, you know, so, I mean, we'll, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, because the, the quarantine really kind of, you know, pushed a lot of award things out. Um, you know, some things were canceled or what have you. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things that, you know, could potentially come. Um, and I'm still going to release, you know, more music. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and I'm just grateful to have it. Mm-hmm. And, you're all, and also, you also appeared on Showtime as well, too, working prior yeah. in Chi. And uh, tell us about those. And if you got any other music uh, you'd like to talk about, more appearances and more, you can uh, tell us about it as well. Um, well, I actually was on uh, Showtime's Work in Progress, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, our listeners are uh, familiar with that, our viewers are familiar with that. Um, so Work in Progress is actually filmed here in Chicago. So I, like, I literally had, I want to say, well, I actually worked on that show for about seven, seven days. Wow. Um, I, I know, right? That's a really good thing. Um, <laughs> thank God, like my face was looking good, my makeup was looking good, and um, you know, they were looking for you know some some sizzle, you know, just a mm-hmm. little sizzle. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, and I ended up getting uh, bumped up to um, like a quick little feature, you know, feature, you know, where face, you know there's my face, (laughs) Um, which was really, really awesome. Um, And then I also uh, very vividly remember shooting the scene where uh, Julie McSweeney is in the hospital. Um, I don't remember the call sheet exactly, but I I do remember shooting the scene where she was in the hospital. And, and uh, so I got to, you know, talk with her and, uh, and push her down, you know, down the hallway to have her fake surgery. And um, <laughs> so, I mean, it was a really, really wonderful experience. I mean, it was a show that really kind of brought um, some very different, like, gender variant relationships, um, you know, out into, you know, the open, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so the show is literally about a, a lesbian woman who falls in love with a, a trans man. Um, so, yeah right um, mm-hmm. it's very meaty and then also uh, the humor of it is um, 180 almonds 180 <laughs> almonds oh my goodness I don't know if I can handle 180 almonds <laughs> you gotta watch the show you have to watch the show in order to uh, you know in order to uh, in order to get the, the almonds it's, it's a funny thing um i did just recently see some information about casting uh mm-hmm. for season two uh i would love to you know obviously you know partake in that um you know if the opportunity you know presents itself so but yeah i i, I was really happy to do that and uh, i also did uh the shy so i think i heard, I heard i think i heard you say the, the, the chi yes my chi and energy is very strong mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yes you have a lot of chi for chai and chai for chi so <laughs> it comes oh, I mean, together very nicely oh thank you yeah so i i i i've enjoyed that i've enjoyed that you know i i but music is my love music is my first love um it allows me to um express myself unabridedly and be in control of the narrative probably more so than a filmmaker could be i can take my listener on a real real intense journey and be the navigator of of that story that i wish to tell without it you know being um saturated or watered down does that make sense Mm -hmm. i i can see what you're saying you're pretty much reinventing the um the whole thing just like you're reinventing the uh, edm sound just taking the whole new level well yeah i mean because i you know like again we talk retro right um you know i i I mean, what's what what's age have to do with good music, right? And 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 you know, and borrowing from the past in order to make uh, something new, uh, and it's authentic when when you are you know include yourself, you know, it's it pays homage to those people, um, right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like 
Yes, exactly it. And uh, and what can people uh, come away with, um, you, you know, watching those programs and um, also some of the music? What can people uh, come away with or what's the message you're getting out there? What can people learn from it? Well, I, th- I think the, the most important thing, you know, about kind of all of my work, uh, really, uh, they've all kind of correlated between each other, mm-hmm. um, you know, with... Um, you know, so below, so below was kind of written, you know, about isolation and, um, you know, being secluded away from the world. Um, and then also, you know, on a, on a more deeper level, you know, it was also something that I wrote, um, with regard to me taking, you know, my HIV medication, mm-hmm. uh, because it does get really, really hard to, you know, especially when you're busy for anybody who, who takes medication, it's really busy for you to be consistent with that when your life is, you know, so busy. Um, oh, Yes. You know, so um, that's really how uh, that song, uh, I don't think I've actually shared, I think you might be the first person that I've shared that with. Um, everybody knows that that song was written about isolation, but I don't think people know that, you know, that song was actually written uh, about uh, about HIV. Um, mm-hmm. you know, so, um, but I mean, that that's really, you know, my ultimate message, you know, is, is to, you know, be aware and to... Um, just spread love really i mean uh i I want people to um you know even though we're in covid and we're focusing on that you know but we we have been uh living with uh literally for aids and hiv you know longer than i've been alive so you know and i I would like the pharmaceutical companies to um, try and be more proactive with their approach instead of managing does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. So in other words, it's like you're basically wanting the pharmaceuticals to promote more cures than just simply just make money off of people when when some of the cures can can be worthless too or just has a, a complete opposite effect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because there are, you know, there are a lot of people who have, you know, gone through the ringer and myself included, you know, with this disease. Some, you know, every day is not a, you know, a good day for me. You know, I, I had... um you know, dance rehearsals last night and you know, did everything wonderfully. And, you know, a few hours later, like, you know, my neuropathy was kicking in, you mm. know, um, you know, so there, there are a lot of different variants um, to, you know, being HIV positive or even having AIDS. And so I just want to, you know, just let those people know anyone who has an autoimmune disease that, you know, they're, they're not alone. And, you know, you can make it, you know, with a little strength and a little patience and, you know, just making sure that you stay the course. Mm-hmm. And, and it's best to stay a course as well, too. And, um, you, you know, just a couple of things here uh, before we uh, talk about your future as well. You got an amazing future. And um, what, what what are the lyrics you are uh, mainly based on? So you wrote about, um, you know, you know, Killer and also Soul Below and uh, TikTok Beat Don't Stop. Um, what else do you base your lyrics on when it comes to music? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I get inspired by sometimes by the... By the simplest things, I I wrote a song that was partially inspired by The Matrix Two. Mm, yes, um, I love The Matrix. <laughs> um, so the lyric is, excuse me. So the lyric is, "Turn the ignition, expand your mission. Let the Lord lift you up into the sixth dimension." So that lyric was I. So I wrote that song. Um, there was the sequence in the matrix two where Morpheus was coming back to Zion, where they were coming back to Zion. Remember oh, wow. that? Okay. And, um, and Morpheus had, um, you know, addressed the cavern and, uh, kind of like in a pastoral way. Right. You know, mm-hmm. so, yes. Pastoral. Okay. That's right. So my legion, you know, we are safe, you know, we are, you know, God is great. God is good. And let us party and give, give thanks for this beautiful, you know, day. So that's what I, you know, that's what that song was wrote about. Um, you know, TikTok beat don't stop was actually just me trying to be cute with, you know, TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you know, my day, TikTok was just simply the pendulum just going back and forth. Now, TikTok is basically a new app where you just like, you go like this, you get manufactured and everything else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was me just trying to be, uh, trying to be funny. And, uh, you know, but I, I wanted, you know, I wanted like a feel good um like repetitive like syrupy sugary sweet song and mm. um, and i think it, i think it worked well i kind of incorporated um some acapella in it towards the end so it's electronic but it, it has a lot of organic elements to it like finger snaps and mm-hmm. 
uh, we incorporated some stadium sounds and noises to kind of give the appearance of me, uh, you know, being in the stadium. So again, like, like we just talked about, you know, I like uh, taking, you know, my listeners on a, on a nice, you know, uh, imagined journey because like with each song, um, you know, I can literally take you to a, another place if, you know, if I make sure that the book is written the right way. Mm-hmm. And that's very fantastic as well, too. Where can we find your music at, Dantes? So you guys can actually search me on Spotify, just uh, Dantes, D-A-N-T-E, the little apostrophe. You want to hit that E and hold it so you can get that little swoop and <laughs> Dantes on Spotify, or you can just Google Dantes Alexander. So, so it's like the accent. So I was trying to figure out how to get the uh, little accent up there too. Now I know the uh, how to do it. You hold down the E and the accent pops up. Now yeah. I got it. Okay. <laughs> yes, the accent pops up. <laughs> accent go, accent gras. So we do that. So And, and what's coming up for uh, the very wonderfully talented Dante's Alexander? We'll find out in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Mozenzia of Missing, available on Amazon, paperback, and ebook. We'll be back with the multi talented singer songwriter from Chicago, Dantes Alexander, after mm-hmm. this time. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. It's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbeam, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with singer, songwriter, and multi-talented Dantes Alexander out of uh, Chicago here on the Mike Widener Show. Fresh off his nomination for Best EDM Entertainer at the Chicago Music Awards, where he is not only a nominee, but also feature president presenter for the Best African Entertainer Award, and um, also has a number of uh, songs out there, which is well beyond 100,000, and uh, keep climbing. And um, what's coming up next, uh, Dante? And uh, we'll find out what, what, what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Dantes. Oh, wow. Well, in uh, 2021, I am honestly just looking forward to getting out there and uh, going on tour, uh, seeing uh, all of the fans that, uh, and listeners that I have out there, because there are, are a lot of fans and a lot of listeners who um, who are ready to party. I think everybody is ready to, um, you know, be in social again. We've been socially distanced for so long, but, mm-hmm. we, you know, um, and then outside of that, um, you know, I also plan on releasing, um, you know, three more songs uh, this year. Um, so we're looking at right now, we're looking at uh, April mm-hmm. for um, one of three singles. I, I don't want to give away too much because as right. you know, the art, always changes his mind um (laughs) (laughs) um, (laughs) so um 
you know, because I've actually, the problem is, is that I, you know, I recorded so much last year that I am now in favor of all of my new material, because like you mentioned, you know, like your rap, I mean, so there's, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of options. So I just want to make sure that I put out uh, a song that's actually going to be appropriate for the time. You know what I mean? And I want it to be warm and I want there to be love and I want joy and I want to okay. um, there to be goodwill. It, it sounds like I'm looking forward to it as well, Dantes. And who do you consider biggest influence in a career? The biggest person that I would, Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. Michael Jackson. Um, and the only reason why uh, I would, I would say Michael Jackson is just because there was just a, a high level of uh, commitment and, and, you know, that, uh, there's nothing else to be said. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and that's amazing as well too. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? I always like to say, you know, like we were referring to the trees. You know, um, you have got to water your seed if you want your tree to have strong roots. And if you don't, you know, there are a lot of people who give up. You know, a lot of people lose the magic or are afraid of trying to find that magic. And the magic is just simply, right, that that inner drive. Um, You know, so plant, plant the seed and and continue to water. And, you know, if, if you plant the seed and you don't water and you forget about it, nothing will happen. But, you know, that's my advice. And I think, I hope that's some good advice. That's, that's excellent advice as well, too. Once again, we're with Dante's Alexander, singer, songwriter, very multi-talented out of Chicago and Mike Wagner show. Dante's a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely you. fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 and beyond. And tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to your music? Yeah, so if you guys would like to uh, keep in contact with me or anything that I'm doing, you can go to DantesAlexander.com or Instagram.com slash DantesAlexander for all of the latest updates. That's fantastic. Once again, Dantes, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep yourself up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. Thank you. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and Increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreak, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. 
please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.